In a statement confirming the arrest, Kenya Airways Chief Executive Officer Alan Kilavuka said the two staffers were apprehended by the Military Intelligence Unit in Kinshasa over missing custom documentation on valuable cargo that was to be transported on a KQ flight on April 12, 2024. The airline, however, maintains that at the time of arrest, Kenya Airways had not taken possession of the cargo because its logistics handler was still processing documentation. In the statement, KQ further states that processing documentation is the responsibility of the shipper or logistics partner and not Kenya Airways and that the airline considers the harassment of its staff as targeting Kenya Airways business. The KQ officials were held incommunicado until April 23rd when embassy officials and the KQ team were allowed to visit them. During their arrest, their phones were confiscated. On April 24, 2024, KQ filed an application in the military court for the two to be released unconditionally. The court heard the matter on April 25, 2024 and granted KQ's request that the two staff members be released to allow due process. Despite the court orders, the military intelligence unit in Kinshasa is still holding them incommunicado. KQ has raised concern on its staff being held in a military intelligence facility despite them being civilians. Michelle Ngele Odiambo, K24.